Hey guys, it's Joe Pickup from SoMuchMonsters.com. I uh, put together a little tool for you called the So Much Morpher, and its intent is to give you, as a wonderful, wonderful modder and burgeoning artist, the an ability to set up your mesh with skin and and all of the important parts uh, on the skeleton of the Skyrim character and give it a set of morph states so we can go from the zero to one uh, at least for human like so the male male and female heavy and light i haven't done the kajit or or khajiit and uh argonian yet but all the human models will will be converted easily at some point in the near future i'll, I'll uh, update the tool to do all of them um, the idea is that we'll be able to just generate those the zero and one models in order to have the weight slider work correctly and not blow your verts up. Uh, and so first thing we're going to do is you're going to grab the zip file from the link below. And I'll be updating that anytime. Anytime I update it, it will be the same link. Or there won't be versioning. Um, so grab that and export all the or unzip all the files. And what I want you to do is put the max script the dot ms so much more for dot ms into um, your max folder so in my case it's program files autodesk 3d studio max 2012 uh, then scripts and startup i'm going to put that in there so you see so much more for uh, when you open up max you will see when you go into the customize customize user interface go to toolbars and we'll change our category from whatever is open to uh, so much monsters and then here you'll see so much morpher just drag that onto your toolbar and you'll see SM morpher exclamation point exclamation point exclamation point and then you're pretty much set there so you can open that up and see what it looks like um, now one final thing you need to do is make sure you have a folder on your C drive I apologize for any of you that don't I have a C drive. Um, I hope that you're on an iPad, and if so, you're not using Macs anyway. But we want a so much monsters with, or sorry, no, we want so much morpher folder. My bad. So go back. You see so much morpher, and then we want to put that max file in there. So so much morpher with no spaces, um, and then the max files in there. This is just my reference file for those the uh, skin weights. The skeleton and uh, the morph targets. So it's pretty straightforward. You'll see once you hit the button to turn to open up so much morpher, click it. Um, it's step by step. So first things first, you merge in our reference files, and you'll see nothing shows up for the skeleton. That's kind of for purposes of selection. There are some hidden mesh files that you feel free to hide and show, but um, not important at the moment. If you want to deconstruct it, you can see what I've done. Um, we want to set these starting bodies. So whatever mesh you built this around. So in this case, mine is the light male. So that's what I start with. I make sure that's checked. Um, then I'm going to say, I'm going to turn on my wireframe. I'm going to pick armor. You see when I click it, it turns green. Um, you have to do this one at a time. So you pick the armor and then say add modifiers. And wait a second, don't touch anything. Um, what this does is it sets up your stack to have all the appropriate model uh, modifiers. So skin wrap and edit poly on top to fix the normals. Um, also, you can do some, once we've done our morph, you can go into edit poly and move verts around to adjust some things that go a little bit haywire. So I'll show you that in a second. But So you'll see pick armor, add modifiers, and then what we want to do is drag selected to pick the faces for our dismemberment node. You'll see it's open and active right now. Um, what this did is just assign all those those faces to the torso node. Um, I will cover the dismemberment a little bit a little bit more later. Um, I haven't really decoded all of the dismemberment numbers and uh, segments yet. So, but for now, um, we're just going to assign it all one mesh, just so that it it will function in game. You can see that it works. More for more for, or dismemberment will be later. Um, and then each time you have a separate mesh, so if you had the skin mesh in here, I deleted it out for simplicity, but if you had a skin mesh in here, you'd do the same thing. You'd say pick, select the model, it would change the name and change the color, say add modifiers, and then you should be straight. 
Um, you can do that for each part you want to do. Essentially, you want to separate out different materials in that way. So if you have one that has glow on it, you would have one material for that. And that's how we're kind of distinguishing these different tri shapes is by material. So that's all done. We've done our, our step three. Um, now what we want to do is set our export body type. So what? So in this case, I'm just going to do the male. Um, you can see you select it, and you can see it for some, some reason it's not updating right now in my viewport. But you see, you can see it there. Boop, boop, boop. So I've got my heavy selected. Um, actually, I've got to do both. So I'm going to go back to my light, and I'm going to export out this mesh. Um, I'm hit the button. This is not going to select the NIF exporter for you. Um, you're going to have to do it yourself. So you do need the same tools as before. We need the NetImmerse, Scambrio, KF, and NIF. Um, I'm going to go export those to Scam Data, Meshes. Uh, I'm going to replace the Imperial Armor again. I realize this is the Imperial Armor. But you'll see I won't have any uh, arms or legs. So let's give this a name. Um, now keep in mind, the zero is the light version of the armor. So we're going to say, eh. We're going to say... Uh, new imp zero, new imperial zero. Um, the settings are the same as the other armor tutorial. I'm not going to go over them. I'll just export as is. Uh, watch the other video to get this information. Uh, and then I'm going to go set my heavy. See that same thing. I will export again. I'm going to say new imp one. Oh, I might have just given it no name, but that's fine. All right, so we're going to open up two different files. We're going to open up a the new imp zero. I'm actually going to do get a new window as well. And I will load up an original um, one of the original materials. So we'll say this guy go into its tri shape and copy out the BS lighting shader property. Um, we don't need this file anymore, so what I'll do is load up my other... Well, let, let's, not, let's not get out of order. So now we'll just paste this into the new imp O. We'll right-click, block, paste branch. This is just like before. We do the copy-paste magic and get our shader our shader properties fixed up. So we in, in this case, we have a four texture or six texture setup. Excuse me, which is not correct. We don't. We need all nine shader slots, so our node is actually correct. So you'll see in here, if we select our texture sets, you'll see there's a value of nine. Um, this will have all the slots for our textures. Um, and so we'll go in and set our anti tri shape properties at the very bottom. Open it up, find shader property 2, change that to whatever our lighting property is, just like before, 27. And you'll see it'll rehook that into it. 27 shows up here, 2 shows up down here. We'll remove 2 from the complete, uh, completely from the, the NIF. Um, then we will go into the dismemberment skin instance under the NITRI shape, and we'll scroll down to the bottom and open up partitions. Um, this will be done differently when I cover all of the uh, dismemberment stuff. I just have to spend a little more time with the the meshes and figure out when gauntlets overlap and when boots overlap. Um, for now, I'm just going with the simplest model we can. Uh, dismemberment will get more complex and you'll see more entries as we add separations. So for now, just putting it to 32, which is the torso. Um, so double click there and just type in 32. Oops. So 32 torso. Um, and then the last thing we want to do is in tri shape, we need to make sure that we have vertex color on, otherwise our mesh will turn up black in game. Just double click that, say yes. And now this one's ready to save. I'm going to save it as Curious Light. That's the light model, so there it goes. And then I'm going to load up my fatty man and since I've still got my my uh, let's shrink this, this is confusing I've still got my lighting property copied I can just paste it right back in 
block paste branch and you'll see that's 27 still go into my tri shape at the bottom change the properties just like before and now we've got that hooked up we'll remove lighting shader property number two and then in tri shape turn on vertex color I realize that's a different order than before but I think you guys can follow has vertex colors yes and then in the skin or the dismemberment skin instance we'll open up partitions at the bottom find torso two and that was set in that BS dismemberment node when we selected all all the verts were, or all the faces were assigned to that skin instance um, but that should be it so now we should be able to save this guy save as and I'll save it as curious light one and now when we jump into ZGIM, I say load. I have someone posing. Oh, where is he? There he is. I would like to load that game. Yes, sir. So we'll load up. I'll take a little sip of this beer here. And yeah, now we've got our, our dude. Now mind you, because I did not... Oops. Got a little Rayman action going because I did not use uh, the skin instance, or the, sorry, the skin, the body skin. Um, just because I want you to get through the simplest process first, we do one mesh and then add complexity beyond that. So, first time we'll do this, next time I'll add another uh, mesh in. But just so you can see the slider works, we'll say show race menu. Um, and you can get into the, the console by hitting the tilde key. Um, and then just type show race menu and you'll see that'll create the uh, the scene for um, character creation and if we go into body now oh, you have to turn off the console before you can go into body now let's make Rayman a fat man you can see the uh, skin works just right scales up for us as we change it and since the, uh, the the male, like the human body, is shared for a bunch of the different races, we can actually switch between a bunch of different stuff and still get our our scaling correctly. So high elf, dark elf, Breton, um, orcs, red guard—they're all the same. Um, they don't get special bodies outside of the norm. So that should be that should be it. Um, so yeah, the, the important trick is to make sure that if you do make any edits to your mesh at all, any any edits beyond the uh, the morphing, do not do anything that reorders the verts. So don't do any cuts, quick slice, anything that edits the number of vertices in the model um, will break your mesh. So if you go into the edit poly in your max file, if you go look over here, I left an edit poly in the stack for you to just go back and edit a little bit. If you decided that things like this belt were a little bit out of whack, you can go into the edit poly at vertex level, move it around a little bit, clean it up for yourself. And this is acceptable. This won't this won't reorder it. But if you went and you said, uh, let's see, in polygon, you said, hey. Let's start collapsing edges. All right, you start doing this, it changes the number of verts, it also changes uh, the order of the verts. So now your skin will blow up and your the morph between the two won't work. So what I've done basically is just automate the process of giving you um, kind of free reign on setting up your mesh at the first part, you build it, and you should be able to. Uh, where did my morpher go? You can actually scoot between male, female. You can see it's it's not a perfect representation of the female model, but it's going to be better than starting from scratch. So you'll see there's male, female, whatever. So it's just a morph target. Anyway, that's it. Uh, you should be able to get some armors in game now. And I hope you keep up to date with my tutorials. So I should have an update for Kajit and Argonian in the near future. 
and I'll clean up the meshes a little bit more to be less just the body shape, more actual armor shapes. So um, we'll cover that a little bit later, but that's it. Thanks a lot. This is Joe Pickup with so much monsters.com.